this knowledge. Hey everyone, this is Flaming Freedom, and we're live in Manchester, New Hampshire. Woo! And uh, it is March 26, 2015. I'm here with Dale. Dale Hey Burke. folks. Anarchy in your head. And also our guest host, De David, is here. Hey David. Good evening, everyone. Hey, thanks for joining us. No problem, my pleasure. Now you are a man of uh, YouTube videos. Among other things, yeah. Among other things. And, that's uh, all he is, does. That's, that's, that's one, one, of, the, that's one of the things that you do. And uh, what is your YouTube channel? Uh, name of the channel is Length Unithor. It's uh, Icelandic. A lot of people ask me what it means. Um, and I started, I think, mostly with the idea of evangelizing libertarianism like I think a lot of people do. But uh, it kind of evolved more into uh, prepping libertarians with more sophisticated arguments. I like to go into a lot of detail. I'm a big history buff. And uh, that's mostly what I like to read a lot of books and I like to share what I, what I read with other people. What's your gay cred? Oh, I, well, I'm gay. That's, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's good cred. Pure gay or bi or anything? Pure. Yeah. Cool. Was it the five on the Kinsey scale? Are you a gold are you a star? Gold star? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gold, you are. Yeah. Gold star. All right. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. cool. All right. <laughs> we, we got three gold stars in this room. Yeah. We're all gold star gays. All right. <laughs> no, no, good job, everybody. No Patch impurities the here. <laughs> no impurities here. So, uh, what our, do we got to talk about tonight, oh Dale? You've God. got a lot of show topics. To I don't to. even. Uh, there's so much. Like, we're we're definitely not going to get to it all. But uh, of of what's on here, there's a. I think there's a comic book for that's all about this guy who's getting revenge for his circumcision. Right, he's trying to like track down the doctor who did it. <laughs> what does revenge, revenge look like? It's a, uh, that's revenge a good is, question. Reminds me of the the thing: revenge is a dish best served cold, <laughs> like, a, <laughs> like, like a, a cold foreskin. foreskin. <laughs> Gross. Uh, so this says uh, foreskin man number seven. What? So there's there's already been six issues. There's there are there's seven. a series. It's uh, Holy foreskin shit. man number seven blowback. <laughs> where, where an infamous circumciser is confronted by one of his victims decades after being forced to undergo genital cutting. Ugh. And it's not just cutting. I wonder if they have the rabbi shit in there too. You know, the one where the, the rabbi's oh, going and where suck he sucks the it. Yeah. yeah. Suck the blood. Yeah. yeah, they suck the blood of the baby's dick. But there's mm. a video here. Let me see how long this Religion. video is. It, it might start playing. <laughs> yeah, it started playing. That's fine. Let me. Uh, what? Uh, it's only a minute. Let's see what they say on the video. <laughs> okay. Please tell me okay, there's going to be something at, this more. This sounds than, like porn music. Are they going to do is flip through the magazine, through the comic? Because really? this is a stupid video if it is. Yeah. Oh my God, they are. They're Let just me give it some trippy music while we flip through our comic This book. is lame. <laughs> All right, that told us Please nothing. Please include this, include this in uh, the show notes so that other people can see this lame video. Yes. I, I feel like if, you wanna go, if you want to go watch them <laughs> flip through the comic book on the video... I guess if you if you had super high resolution, it could zoom in. You could just read the whole comic, right? But uh, yeah, other than that, it's a really that's a really horrible video. <laughs> um, let's see. It says that remember Doctor Edric Griswold, that creepy circumcising physician who transforms into Doctor Mutilator in the presence of an intact foreskin. Well, he's back, and this time he's out to create as much mayhem as possible after being selected as the keynote speaker for an annual pediatrics conference in New Orleans. Um, the magazine is anti-Semitic, if you're asking me. <laughs> right, because it's anti-circumcision, anti right? So it's automatically anti-Semitic. That is what some people in the chat room are saying. It's like, bash the Jews night. I don't get that. Are they saying that already in the chat room? <laughs> yeah, they you gotta also, blame somebody for it. They also said that for the delay that we didn't refer to earlier, uh, we deserve some undies. That's a quote. Oh, okay. <laughs> Show them some undies, Derek. No, that's, that's D. They, that's, that must be David. Oh, what? they want David. I was trolling the night for that. <laughs> I, I, I can't seem to break. I can't seem to break Derek of this. This is my first shot. How you, hi, folks. How do you like my suspenders? So, um, yeah, uh, it's here's the thing, right? So let's say there were Mayans, for instance. There, there are religions in the history in history who believed in human sacrifice, right? Yes. So, since that's their a religious belief, should it be protected? Should they be allowed to perform human sacrifices? 
Um, maybe <laughs> within against, their family. Only against willing victims who can oh, well, consent. Yeah. Willing victims who consent. Or their children. Presumably adults. Like not, you know, kids what can't about, properly consent. Yeah, but they, what about their own children? They made those. <laughs> Do you think people own their children? <laughs> well, to a is degree. That your, is that your attitude? At the beginning, right? Like, they're they're stewards of their children. They don't they're own them. They're stewards of them, right. But, so if so, you kill them, then you've sort of you're proven yourself steward. to be a bad steward. But also, so the, you know, the, so. But but my point is, if it's uh, if something is if something is wrong to do, then religion shouldn't give you an out, right? If you oh, it's my religion to cut off a piece of my baby right after it's born. That shouldn't. That's still abuse. As you long still, as it's just the foreskin, it's okay. And now, if you said you were going <laughs> to circumcise your female child for li- religious reasons, that would be considered totally barbaric. Oh, that's that's genital I mean, mutilation then, right? That's female genital mutilation. Well, so. that's different, Dale. <laughs> Yeah, and, and there are actually some huge misconceptions about fe- about female circumcision. Huge, vast majority of female circumcision that happens is no more uh, is no more dr- drastic than what happens to the male than a male circumcision, and okay. sometimes much less so. In some cases, it's almost just a symbolic, like a nick of the skin around the uh-huh. the hood of the clitoris or something. E. So, which is nothing. I mean, it's it's compared to a circumcision. And uh, or or else it's a, can, or else it's comparable. It's the removal of the 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 clitoral hood or whatever, which is the same as the circumcision. You can see the hate mail coming in. Like gay man says, female circumcision, nothing. Well, <laughs> in, in, in my, it's I mean it's no. Uh, if they if all they do is nick it compared by comparison to a male to what male circumcision. I hear you. But now there are cases where they do like what, what there's a clitorectomy, which is. Eat. That is, and they call that a female circumcision. That they call a that a circumcision, but that's removal? not. That's not. Yes, that's a removal of the clitoris, which is like a penis removal. Yeah, oh it's equivalent God. to a penis removal, and that's horrible. Um, it's a much worse than circumcision. Yeah, but that's fairly rare. Like the and and if you look go around the world in places where female circumcision happens, that is fairly rare. Most of the time, it's it's comparable to male circumcision in terms of what exactly they're doing, because you know, male and female genitals have corresponding parts. So, do we get to say, like, some parts of religion are wrong? Do I get to just be like, well, your religion's wrong? No, that would be letting you have free speech and express <laughs> your thoughts. No, uh, you can't say that. Well, I'm going to say that. I think uh, the people who, <laughs> who are like, oh, let me cut off a piece of this baby genital. Oh, I just, I just got to do it. They're wrong. Yeah. They're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't care. You know, you can call me anti-Semitic, which is such a stupid term, by the way, because Semitic refers to a, a lot of people beyond just Jews. Yeah, Arabs. Right. A lot of Ar- Arabs are considered Arabs Semitic. Are Semitic. So yeah. if you have Arabs saying like things that are not favorable toward oh. Israeli or Jews and someone calls them anti-Semitic, it's like they can't be anti themselves. They're, you're saying they're anti themselves. Well, yeah, it's when- not. Semitic doesn't mean Jewish is what I'm saying. It's a it's a language group. It's named after Shem from the Bible. Mm. All the language families that are supposedly descended from him are called Shemitic or supposed to Semitic. Yeah, but. it's a broad. It's much broader than just Jews, is what it comes down to, and it includes a lot of Arabs. And a lot of people consider certain Arabs if they're not if they're not Israeli friendly or Jew or Jewish friendly, they call them anti-Semitic. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so we need a new word. What is it to being specifically anti-Jewish or something? <laughs> All right, we'll be back shortly. So everybody stick around. Get in our chat room. Flamingfreedom.com slash live. Welcome back, everyone. This is one of your co-hosts, Dale. And we have David here as our guest co-host for the first time. Hello. Uh, we're probably going to have a more, um, a little more sophisticated show than normal because of David being here. <laughs> I Derek and I so. showing our underwear. But I've got something to to spice things up just for now. Hey, I've got uh, silly hats for both of us. Okay. I didn't didn't realize David was going to be here today. So, oh, wait a minute. I can give you the wrong one. I think that one's mine. Yep. This one is yours. I'm the raccoon furry. Is a raccoon hat for those of you who can't see the cam at home. And Dale's about to put it on. He looks adorable. And I have a panda hat. Ben Stiller. Which I am going to put on. All right. Let me see how I look in this cam. Amazing. So cute. Would you say Ben Stiller? He wears a panda hat in one of his movies. Which one? Derek Zoolander? Uh, Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. There we go. There we go. So what do you think, Dale? Is it? I think is it's it adorable, and I think we should have furry sex after. Mm. <laughs> furry orgy. And these come with little furry mittens. Oh, mitt? Oh. Yeah. 
This is crazy. Do I get so to keep? Can, do I get to keep this? Yeah, that's for you. <gasps> You're kidding. That's me. for you. So you can. This is crazy. You know, I don't know. Do the, whatever you want to do without getting your your hands dirty. Yeah. <laughs> like I could, I could, I could bap like this. You can- and it'll be so soft and and it, but it'll I was get thinking messy you would give no hand time. jobs. I thought thought you would be probably servicing. Others. How much extra do you think I can charge for hand jobs with these? A How lot extra. extra Lots. You've got- <laughs> yes. <laughs> you knew what you're in for, right? Here. You've seen us before. I think you just lose all your money getting a dry clean afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. You don't would, dry clean. It would be it. so that's, nasty. That's a feature. Well, this is why furries do not have sex in their costumes. Just want people to know it's it just doesn't happen because they, they don't want to get there. Those things are thousands of dollars sometimes. Some of the furry costumes will, can be very expensive. They do not yeah. get those things. They do not get semen on them. Trust no me. way. Trust me on that. And they probably <laughs> hang them up when they get home. I would put yeah. mine on the wall. Yeah, I would want to show it off like like deer antlers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show mine again. I'm so proud of it. Yay, look how cute it is. You've got yours facing forward. Like, you've got a little raccoon on your head. Yeah, well, like right. mine's all like <laughs> up in space. I adjusted it for the camera. All so. right, well, I, I'm trying here. But my my bear is way up in space. I can't, you can't see my suspenders though. But all right. Yeah. So, uh, so wow. we look cute. We, we got over that. Let's get back to the show prep. So, <laughs> so uh, are we done raving about the circumcision comic book? Yeah, that was, that was. Uh, I think the comic might be good. It sounds kind of ridiculous. I, like, I guess want the, the, comic the doctor just... turns into Dr. Mutilator in the presence of foreskins. Like, I would want to have that rag around my house just for random people who stop by. You know, yeah, you know, that's good check it coffee out. table like, yeah, like, material. Oh, I notice you've got <laughs> issue seven of the Mutilator. <laughs> right. <laughs> you should distribute it to pediatric clinics. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. I don't think they'd like that. Because they make a lot of money off of those circumcisions. Yeah, they sell them. It's a it's it's a money maker, and it's it's really disturbing too when you consider like Ooh. oh yeah there we go so Penises. this is the device you use to it looks so complicated and tedious oh no it works apparently like it oh, will these are things I mean you here's put the before and after the three oh, months to repair your foreskin right wow that's impressive it stretches it back out it stretches your skin out but it so stretches you, the existing skin yes that's already that. So, so it doesn't regrow anything. No. And no nerves uh, reappear. No. So you don't get any new sensations. Oh, you do, though, because when it covers the gland, the callus on the gland goes away and you can re- that, get... Okay, that's okay, the so main that's, point. That's what, what I mean, gave I've actually, I've actually got one of those and they do, like... Wow. They do work. I mean... No way. How many weeks have you been using I, it? I haven't used it in about a year. Like, it, it's been hard with work and everything, but they do work. Okay. Like, it takes time. And you say that you do actually regrow the skin. The skin isn't just temporarily stretched out. Just like when you gain weight or put on muscle, your skin permanently stretches. Yeah, it stretches. It, it stays out there. Yeah. But it doesn't grow new nerves. But like you said, it does allow the glands to become more sensitive again Most, because it desensitizes from... It's it's very difficult to compare what your sensation is to somebody else's, but most people estimate it's you get about 85% back. Wow. Uh, it's hard to say. It, wow. Like you said, there's specialized cells at the tip that you can't get back. But you can your gland can get sensitized again. That's pretty yeah. amazing. There's a substantial amount of nerves in the so foreskin like, that get cut off. Is it just like the build can you up scoot to the, that way? It's really hard to get both of you in the picture. On screen. I was seeing something yeah. behind me and I didn't know what oh. it was. I was trying to move out of the way, but it's not it's not in front of me. It's, anyway, it doesn't uh, matter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scooting. If you scoot so, that way, it's better. So for so for the pleasure that um returns, is it just during the build up to the orgasm, or is that is your orgasm also better? I imagine it would be both. It just incre- increases the sensitivity of the gland. Well, I wasn't asking you, Dale. Yeah, you don't even, know. Even just wearing David it, knows. Even just wearing it, you notice an increase in sensitivity. Just by covering the glands all day when it's not rubbing on your clothes, you get more sensitive. And that's only the initial kind of start. If you really get full coverage eventually, uh, it's orders of magnitude different in terms of what you can feel. Wow. I, I know other people have pursued this as well. And is it like There's, permanent? Like you said, you haven't done it in a year. So yeah, it, it is permanent once you get it. Um, but it takes a while. It depends how much you start with, how big your gland is, that sort of thing. Most people it takes about a year. Wow. And that's not the only device. There's a whole bunch of other people use weights, use balloons. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's like a couple of different methods. One is tying 
tying to like your your knee or your leg yeah, an so elastic it pulls band on it yeah or a weight like a pendulum or you can just use tugging yourself if you just work on it every day that takes a long time but you can do it wow huh. yeah it's i don't know that i i i, I could see myself putting the consistent effort in it's difficult there you have to do that every it, but, day yeah. you have to get in the habit like as soon as you, you get out of the shower you're getting about to get dressed you have to attach a bunch of equipment to your penis yeah, yeah. No thanks. But if you want it bad enough, I can see you doing it. I, mean, I don't know. It's a hassle. Yeah, just to, just think about hassle. it. I mean, think about the amount of time I spend epilating my legs. You know. Yeah. It's like thirty minutes once a week or well, so. I don't know. Just think, like every time you have to pee, you have to take it off and then put it back on. Oh and, god! And, and like, I didn't even think about I, that. Like try try doing that in a urinal at a restaurant. I mean, I've tried. It's it's not easy. <laughs> like, wow. Oh uh, right. Well, I've thought about like I've worn a chastity device for extended periods, and that is pretty inconvenient, especially during restroom visits, but this is even more inconvenient in the sense that you have to take it all the way off. But they say it's superior to any of the surgeries you can get. The surgeries that you can have done are much more risky and they don't even give as, as good a result. Mm. I can believe that. But I mean, anytime lazier. you don't have to cut, you're, you're going to, you know, you don't have a wound that has to heal over and then potentially be sensitive. That, that itself could be sensitive and to pain and whatnot. So, yeah. Certainly, yeah, it seems to me like it would be it'd be better than trying to do surgical restoration. And it's cheaper, too. Yeah. How much does it run? Well, those those devices are usually in the tens of dollars. So 50, 60 bucks, a surgery, I'm sure, it would cost a lot more than that. I, I Holy yeah. moly. How it's long all, does it's it take a, to I mean, use? It's, 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 it's effort instead of money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Time how long does it take? A month? A year? It depends. It depends how much skin you start with. It depends how big your glands how are. How long did it take for you? Easily well, a year I'm not done. Uh, You're not, not done? Oh, no, no. Why'd you stop? Uh, it, like I said, it was too much of a hassle. Okay. It was very difficult so are you ever going to pick it up again? I've still got the stuff, so yeah. Probably. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's. I mean, this 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 one is called TLC Hugger. We'll, tugger. Put, we'll put a link tugger. to it. Oh, Tugger. I'm sorry. Can TLC you extend tugger. it like way past where it's supposed yeah, yes, to be? Yes, you can. And there's actually a lot of guys who are uncut who want just want more foreskin who will use stuff like that just to get Why? extra. Huh. They prefer having more. I, that's fine. Yeah. Some yeah. guys want to be anteaters. Yeah. Yeah, I've been yeah I mean, you can see like prices it's, here. It's like, does your dick ever come out? You know? You can, you do, you, you can pull this off to. for less than No, I know. Dollars. It's weird. So... Yeah, I mean, this one shows know, 42 months. There's quite quite a bit of progress, but that took 42 months. 42 so months? Several years. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. It's, how, yeah, it's a function a of, of how, much, and... how much you tug and how often. You know, if you do it an hour a day versus four hours a day, that's, you know, four times the difference. Holy. Yeah, I could just picture, like, the amount of effort to, to re reapply everything and put it all mm -hmm. back in place. I would be like, you know what, I'm, I, I, I could just picture myself trying not to drink too much. And, and sizing's not easy either. I mean... Yeah, yeah. It took it took some tries to well, get it right. Even then, once mm. you get the sizing and all that, just having to reapply it all the time and such, I could see like just trying to not drink too much, so you won't have to pee too much and stuff like that. <laughs> all right, folks, uh, stick around. We'll be back shortly. Uh, in the meantime, check out our flame our Facebook page, Flaming Freedom slash flaming or Facebook dot com slash Flaming Freedom, and you can also go to us live, flamingfreedom dot com slash Live. dot com slash live. If I'd known, I would have yeah. bought it. But Liberty oh yeah, you oh, could have yeah. demonstrated it for us and everything on the air. Yeah. <laughs> right on the camera. What free person? <laughs> would, <laughs> what free person would choose to wear such? Slay Joe asks. Oh, I thought you were asking. Free now, will really? with responsibility isn't good enough. Ant eaters, new term to me. Um, um, no, it's not a personal. Oh, someone's asking about chastity space. devices, and what why would a free thing? person wear that? A it's a kink. <laughs> it's a kink. Yeah, you, you like want wearing handcuffs or anything. Yeah, or yeah. There's a lot of there are a lot of libertarians that are into bondage, Panda, Panda but it's consensual, right? You, it's something you want, yeah. and you work it out, and you, yeah. make, so you work it out. So it's, it's like consensual. you have to seek out it's a like person pretend. who knows how to tie ropes like that. Yeah, you know, like if it's not consensual, it. yeah, and wants to do it. I don't know what is, unless there's a bunch of Boy Scouts out there. I was a Boy Scout, but we did not use our not skills for that. <laughs> I think that our YouTube might be sure. hearing this because the normal filter isn't set up. Yeah, I'm gonna fix this. It is. They will. Yeah, they are hearing it. You right? should mute the ads while we talk. <laughs> hey, y'all! This is Flaming Freedom, and we're back and live. Uh, you can join us at flamingfreedom.com slash live. We've got a chat room going on there. Also video feed so you can see us in our funny hats. 
<laughs> I am wearing a panda hat. Dale, a raccoon. Raccoon. That's my ant. That's my spirit animal. That and uh, Archer. I don't have a spirit animal, and it would not be a panda. They're they're fat. I would, you know, porcupines oh, are fat. They're so adorable, too. though. You're not into the chubs. No. You're not into bears. No. Chubby bears. No. no. Are what they did, really bears the... or are they marsupials, though? Oh, yeah. That's, that's the true. Question pandas? pandas? Yeah. yeah. Are they marsupials? They don't they have, have placental pouch, babies. Right? Yeah. They. Oh. Yeah. That's, oh, weird. I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <they're, laughs> Whatever. Their babies are born like little tiny salamanders and they crawl. Yeah. Like a kangaroo. Yeah. I've, I've watched a kangaroo climb out of the pouch, vagina. Yeah, yeah. Like a kangaroo. Kangaroos have Get it so easy. They just pop they, out a little tiny thing. It looks like a mouse. It looks like a baby mouse, practically. Really? And it has to crawl its way up to the pouch. Okay. And yeah, get into the pouch. Yeah, they're not placental mammals. They're like, I, they just look like bears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, weird. All right. I just learned something new today. Interesting. But what? Uh, speaking of bears, though, like the gay kind. Oh. Bear, bear, the, the gay kind of bears? The gay kind of bears. What about them? Uh, I was just asking you, you're, like, that's not your thing? No. Derek, no? Okay. No, I, I'm not into bears. The BBC. And it's such a, it's such a gay icon, too. Like, mm. people think gay, they think, like, hello, <laughs> like, and they think bears. Or bears. You know? Yeah. Those are the two. Twinks and bears are really the main ones that I can think of. Yeah, those are the two main and categories. I don't know what you fall into if you're not either of those. Because eventually cub. you're, yeah, yeah, there's otter and cub. Cubs are a sub of bears, though. You could be a jock. An otter is kind of in between a bear and a twink. twink. Oh, there are jocks who are not twinks or bears oh, as well. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, what guess what so. are the that categories is... according to Facebook? There's or, uh, According to uh, Grindr, there's geek. Yeah, there's daddies. Hmm. There's all different kinds of guys. Entrepreneur. Do, what? Is uh, that you one know of what? the things on Grindr? Generous dads. Oh, I yeah, feel yeah. like we should prioritize a, a listener question. Okay. So they posted it in our show prep thread, and I'll just read what I'll just read what he asked. He said, "I recently contracted HPV six slash eleven. Having that conversation with a prof- prospective partner is seriously awkward. I'm sure it's easier than disclosing other illnesses. What advice would you have for the best way to go about telling someone? I had to turn them down for sex last Saturday because I was sober and they were drunk, and my ethics say consent before alcohol. Then there was the awkward talk about." My other reason for consent. Apparently, this person is vaccinated against it. It's still an insecurity, though. Sorry for the lengthy question. Wait a minute. What is this? This is HPV 6 slash 11. That's um, that genital warts, there right? are a bunch of them? What is 6 slash 11? You're, you're, you're fondling your mic too much. Because I don't want it to fall off well, here. You, we got you a hot dog down it. a hallway. You, dude, how many times did you watch us adjust our mics? I know. I'll Loosen get it. it. All right. And just, tilt it up. Just, just, don't give me any shit. And then tighten yeah. it again. All right. It, well, I'll get it on the break. Anyway, what are, what are they talking about here? One of them has a has a STI, and the other does not. And they talked about it before sex. And one of them, he says he is vaccinated, and he was like, "Oh, I'm vaccinated, so doesn't matter." But it's matter. still an insecurity. So, well, vaccination isn't 100. percent Yeah. Right? right. But this is also not a one a particularly life threatening thing, but it is annoying. I guess it's general warts, right? I don't know what that one is. Which are less threatening to a man in terms of in terms of being dangerous for your health. Okay. But they're uh, not pleasant, I guess. Yeah. And uh, I think they eventually go away on their own, usually. Um, or you can treat them, I guess. You can go to a dermatologist or a STD doctor or something and they'll zap them with like liquid nitrogen or something like that. Well, what is this person's question? He wants uh, help with having this conversation with prospective partners. Help with having this conversation? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> David, do you have suggestions? I think you just have to be really honest about it. And I mean, uh, maybe have what? the conversation before you're in a situation that it's going to be really awkward. So I mean, before you meet, as long as, I mean, if you're, if you do full disclosure and they're okay with it, then, uh, you know, don't be so, so self-conscious. I mean, yeah, I think. I think he knows that. Like he intends to be honest. He intends to have the conversation. I, that's that's for sure. Um, I think he's asking, like, is there a way to approach it that isn't going to be a total buzzkill for for an otherwise, you know, for I a sexual encounter? A timing question. You know, like if you're just about to go, it's yeah. a little late. But if you're talking <laughs> over lunch or something, it's not a sexually charged environment. And I don't know. 
Yeah. That's a good point. Take it out of the sexual realm because it's totally going to be a buzzkill if things are getting hot. Have, have, have the conversation long before yeah. the sex is about yeah. to happen. Yep. Over coffee or whatever before, not not just as everything's coming off. That's too late. So much for a lot of gay guys. I mean, I'm I, we've talked about this and Derek pokes fun at me, but I'm kind of prude, a little bit prude. But yeah. for a lot of gay guys, like they're on grinder and having sex 30 minutes later, right? Yep. 30 so, minutes later. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, so, uh, um, absolutely. In that situation, it's tricky, I think. Well, right? yeah, because you could be completely honest and still be carrying diseases. E. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just saying, ha trying to have that conversation, you know, because yeah. well, like, you're, you're trying to get someone all hot and bothered on Grindr yeah, and, and like, uh, oh, by the way, HPV. Yeah, if they've come over to your place already and like they've already put a foot in the door and then you're like, oh, wait, there's this reason that it can't work. You don't want to wait till that point because... Yeah. You know, so you got to tell them before. So you have to talk about it during the hot steaming grinder chat. That's when you no, have to... you include that in your like profile somehow. Like oh. people will say pause or neg. Okay. Uh, yeah. if they're positive. disease free, uh, all that stuff. Yeah, and they will say right. if they're disease free. Well, I imagine that there are people who are who, who are say HIV positive, who are still getting sex, yeah, of course. Yeah. And so, people, so surely HPV is hey, there are people who drastically that. minor compared to that, right? Yeah, some people do advertise that. And one um, thing that I like is some people have their tested date. date. Oh. It's like the date. The, la like the last time they were tested. Yeah. Yeah. Because that also means they're getting a lot. Of course, they are just... It means they're good at <laughs> sex. Putting it there, that doesn't mean it's necessarily true either, but... They are put just putting it there. It could be a total lie, but... It, it would indicate be. to me. Yeah, I mean, you have to assume it, it might be. You have to assume it might be. Well, whatever. Right? No. No one lies on Grinder. Everything is true. <laughs> Everything is true. <laughs> Everything is true. <laughs> they really are six I've, six. Every, every single thing. They really well, do they have really an eleven inch have penis. To be. And I've never really I've, had a bold I just, lie. Just today, uh, I was talking to somebody and I sent a pic, and they said, "I've already seen this pic. Someone else sent it to me." Oh, uh, oh busted! No. So I was flattered, but I was also, and I said, "Who was it?" And he sent me the picture, and I was like, "I know who that guy is," and I'd never met him before, but we talked before. Oh um, no so way! He's using your pics on Grinder. Yeah, I found out wow. someone. So I was not on Grinder yet, and someone said they saw my pic. That someone, that someone, that, that uh, they had, they thought they were out. talking to me because someone was using my pic, and I'm like, I am not on Grinder. Have never been on Grinder. I have now, but at that time, yeah, I hadn't. So no, someone never, was using my pic. I never heard of my pics, but I had seen. Um, vi uh, pics that I'd seen on the internet before. You know, I remember on a on a Reddit post, a guy was posting pictures of himself, and he had a pink cast, and you know, a really cute guy. And I saw that same pic on the grinder here in Manchester. I said, "Well, you look exactly like this guy, replete with the pink cast, and you know, everything that is from the UK." And post, and you know, <laughs> <laughs> which one do you think is telling the truth? Yeah, exactly. on grinder though, like presumably they're about to see you. I know, I don't, right? I, I never understand what the end game is. There. I know it's because there are so many flakes. They're all flakes <laughs> who are sharing pictures that are porn pics in hopes that you'll send pictures that are also porn pics of oh, yourself. Just, yeah, they're just they're fishing, they're they're fishing for your pictures. Right. They don't want their own pictures. And they don't want to get, they don't actually want to meet and have sex. No, because they, they're going to flake out. How many yeah. people on Grindr would you say are flakes? Uh, I have a good filter, said, so I don't get to that point very often, but probably. 20 30 percent i mean yeah you know, that's all like that. 20 30 i would say it's higher <laughs> really? i would say, I'll say higher too well i i met someone when i was in la somebody sent me a picture that it was it was like a and i actually met the person later at, at a club like they sent me a picture of someone just this gorgeous asian it was an asian guy gorgeous yeah. ripped body yeah. really just a it's model built. asians that's, are it was mm. a mod and the picture was stay it was like a model picture it was like from a cover of a magazine of a local club magazine or something yeah. right it was a model picture yeah and uh and i'm like wow yeah i want to meet you and then i meet him and he looks nothing like the guy what nothing Why? like the nothing guy. like him and it's nothing. embarrassing for me i'm like you you thought that he i guess he thought it was close enough or he thought that like to white guys all asians look the same what and no, uh so i think that's more just to get the foot in the door you know, you and, then you, he, so? and then he's like, "Cause now I'm you're immediately, with me. Well, I'm immediately to turned David. off. Like, yeah. if I go, I'm on there expecting a certain thing, person, and I see, and you just nothing like the person. I'm like, I'm immediately just turned it's off. It's a huge red flag. I mean, because what else are they lying about? You know, right. Besides that, so yeah, right. I just, I don't want to play these stupid games. So what do you do in that situation? You meet them. You're like, hey, you're not the person from the picture. <laughs> so I, I didn't say that. Grab yeah. coffee. I didn't yeah. challenge okay. him, but he must have seen it in my face, like just the way I was. I you was didn't challenge him. I didn't. I didn't bring it up. You I like didn't. pretended that this liar no. was <laughs> worth going on a date with after he just lied to you and played you like that. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't You're spend like, that long with him, bitch. I mean, the date didn't last very long. I'm 
be like, it's like coffee. Buy I your own damn popcorn. I'm That's not, what you do. If like if you don't, I, you don't necessarily want it to become confrontational. You just bail out. You just get out of it sooner. Yeah, I know. So yeah, you just go right. You just leave. Just don't yeah, make a conf. Don't make an say, issue. Just I'm done. You, asshole. It was nice. See you later. I know I you're what you're up to. We'll be back, folks. Second hour's coming up. Stay tuned. And for those of you who are on YouTube, in many we're hey, keep that entertaining Ian? you. That was the ad. Are you guys going to use oh. these hats, <laughs> hats in your new profile pics now? Yeah, oh, should we take maybe, a profile uh, maybe, picture? Maybe we should. Should we do a Flaming Freedom? Say, yeah, we should all pose I for mean, a Flaming you Freedom. Can, you can yeah. start, you know, and set up bears and stuff. You say, well, I identify as raccoon. Or, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> can we take a photo in front of the yeah. Flaming Freedom banner? Yeah, I think so. All right, great. Do you want to do it right now? Yeah. Right okay. Now. All right. We Those can't are, wait. We can't. Yeah. Let's see. I'll turn it. I'll flip it Cameras over to. Uh, an hour. I'll put. It, I'll flip it over so you guys can watch us. I won't it. do Facebook, but Grinder is. And, okay. and while we're on it, <laughs> uh, seriously, I would like. Can you seriously go a little more over that uh, way? Yeah, or you go wait, more wait, this You way. want me to? And what? you can move the, the. That'll stretch quite a bit more. Look at that. Mike will go over quite a bit more. And you can also. There. there let's go ahead and do it. Turn what? this. Un unloosen yeah. it. All right. Loosen that. Counter counterclockwise. Okay. Now tilt it up. Yeah. Now, now tighten it again. I don't know how these keep getting turned. They're, there they're you go. Too loose. You, don't have to, you don't have to go. You don't have to go nuts. Just get get it tight. Yeah. 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 Don't, no, yeah. All right. Now it'll stay on. You don't have to fondle get it. Get it right. Get don't it tight. Over, fond over fondle it. I liked fondling it. Okay. Now I have to tuck down into it though. I don't like that. I have to get all down here like I'm nibbling on it. Who's gonna take the picture? Uh, the camera, the oh. webcam will. Oh, that. Yeah, right there. So we're just going to leave it there and wait. I don't know. Then we'll take a screenshot of it. All right, dick cheese. Dick oh, cheese. <laughs> All right, that's good, right? Yeah, I think we got <laughs> some good ones. Okay, that's great. Do you want to get David? Do you want to borrow no. one? No? No, it's all right. You don't want one? <laughs> he doesn't want to sure? be humiliated. <laughs> You're wearing for the rest that's of the so first grade. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe give uh, a little, a this will be warm. A Velociraptor, maybe. Oh my god, this will be so warm when I go out next winter out to go to, when I go to Market Basket. Did you get and your hands. <laughs> we're going to Market Basket. Can you, you can tell see me those, where the... they were designed for kids whose arms are about half as long? <laughs> right, right. Maybe so. Maybe so. They, it's not, it's not the demographic they had in mind. When <laughs> <laughs> just wait until i go to the market basket next year when it's cold these are so warm i was just saying i don't know how much you guys could hear yeah i wasn't nothing. speaking into the mic but these things are so warm so i'm thinking like when it's ne when it's really cold next year I'll, when i have to go to market basket for some ice cream uh i will put ice cream on. hey y'all this is flaming freedom it's for faggots who are cool you guys cool with that word? Faggots? Is that a bad word? Uh, it, I, don't, it, I like it, that word. In the middle of sex, like if, 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 if Ooh, I found someone... Like a dominating I was going to say, if someone, if I find someone who can inspire me into submissiveness, which is rare, yeah. but if someone could do that, like maybe he'd probably have to be Latino, but, but like if someone could yeah. do that, and, and if he wanted to call me faggot during sex, then I might, could, I might you know, call me a cock-sucking faggot or something. Yeah. Yeah, that could be hot. But mm -hmm. norm normally, no, I would say I'm not a fan of the word. <laughs> I am, and yeah. uh, I wear it as a badge of honor. What about you, David? Offensive? Uh, I don't like it myself, but it's not offensive. All right. like it. Uh, well, all Did right. you guys ever yeah. discuss the etymology of that term? Oh, I know no. where it comes yeah. from. It has to do with burning things. Right, it, that's where it's... flamer comes from too. Uh, oh. Because they would carry the they if, like a witch would be burned, but a, a homosexual would have to carry their own like tinder to start it, and that's why. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wear them all as a bad... It has to a fag it, it, in British terminology. I mean, that's why they call a cigarette's a fag, and a yeah. faggot is a bundle of sticks. Like a stick is a is a, a stick is a piece of kindling. Yeah. If you go camping, a faggot, you have to have a, fag. a faggot. Yeah. yeah. So a stick is a fag, and a bundle of them is a faggot. Right? And yeah, but I'm not for, talking about that. I'm talking about gay people, queer people. Well, that's What's where the PC from? term? Queers? Hey, homosexual. I don't know. Queers? No, homosexual is too dirty. That's like, <laughs> that's what. Uh, it's putting sex that's in what the word. Southern people. Like, it, like call it's all about sex. LGBT. Gay people. No, it, like Person? Christians call gays homosexuals. Yes. You know, they make the, it sound really sleazy. It's the homosexuals. 
that are the problem. They they always yeah. draw that word out like it's so nasty and yeah. Anyway, I uh we're gays and we do a show and it's pretty weird. Hey David, you asked to be on the show. Why would you why would you ask to be on the show like <laughs> flaming freedom? I just felt left out, you know. <laughs> Cuz you I are I was watching it from an oil It's actually every, every, I feel like we're overdue for inviting him on actually because he he moved. He is he is, uh he did move to Did you move before me? No. Not the first time, but the second time. Oh. Yeah. All right. So, so what? he beat you back. So story, okay. He beat you back. All right. So here's the thing. For, oh, I see. You're right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You were here before. I, I came, moved then away, and then yeah. Okay. Yeah. We did a little shuffle. So this guy, I was wondering what what if this gets you all hot and bothered, Derek, because he is. He says he's a handsome black man. He says uh, I am a biracial, bisexual, and listen to how he talks. This might get you, this might get you all worked up. I am a biracial, bisexual, non-gender conforming black nigger. Suck my mm. enormous black dick. Fuck yeah! Are you I turned will. on? Yes. Okay. I like He's that. trying to get people upset. Yeah. That's why he throws the N-word He's trying around, to get people so upset? Him. Well, kind of. He's kind of a provocateur <laughs> like, on campus now. Okay, I like you. Because they tried to shut him up, so he's like, okay, that doesn't. I'm just going to like piss everyone off. Wow. I'm gonna, like, he, he basically, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... My hero. He's is a, he really gay? He's I a provocateur him. for the sake of free speech is what it comes then down I to. He's really trying to renew free speech on campus. I'm yeah. turned on more by the fact that he is like doing this for freedom and for, for free speech. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, than anything. Well, you know, it started. Besides he is handsome. It started because he was uh, kicked out of his humanities class for allegedly denying rape culture. Oh, my God. This is that guy? Yeah. They were talking about him on Free Talk Live last night. Oh, I didn't yeah, know probably. he was this handsome black man who was saying, suck my dick. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, and, where do I have to go? And, pay a bi visit and to bisexual. N NYU? Where is because he? he's bisexual. This is at... Virginia? Um, oh, oh, Jeremiah True. Reed College. Reed. So where's Reed College? I don't know. Anyway, he says um, he was denying rape culture, disputing certain sexual assault statistics. And I know about the st statistics they're talking about. They are bullshit. Yeah. And um, and while BuzzFeed provided some evidence that his views were the problem and had triggered students, there's that word triggered, mm -hmm. uh, who had who were themselves victims of oh, sexual assault. Reed is in Portland. I, I grew suspicious there. after contacting True myself. He declined to answer any of my questions unless I agreed to write the N word as the first word in my article about him. <laughs> I hate it when people say the N word. Why? Just say the word. Don't call someone that. That's horrible. No. What? No, don't say the word. You can say the N word. The term, the N word. It's right? stupid. I no, like that. It's I, it's I like, like to... such a ridiculous censorship. Uh, it's like the, I don't word like is, it. the word itself is it doesn't mean anything unless you use it in a certain way. Well, then context. go ahead, Dale. You haven't done it. I did. I've done it several times. You didn't do it just now. Instead, you say the N word. Why? Because it's more comfortable, <sighs> because it's more polite. It's the thing, you know, you don't Doesn't like, context matter. Like you see the South East thing, oh, it's okay to say faggot. Should people have to say the F word? You know, because that huh? means a different word. That means a different F word. What? You just got through saying that faggot was fine. It's fine to say faggot. Yeah, it is. But but why shouldn't people have to say the F word? Like, how about just don't call someone a faggot? But it's right. okay to say the word. Right. Oh, so and so said faggot. They did. They said it. So <laughs> just say it, right? The, but how you, you what you, how you, the context matters. Oh yeah, you right? did just say the N word. You read it. Yeah. Okay, I forgot. That's what he said. All right. They actually did censor it though, Why? but I knew what they were saying. <laughs> uh, <I'm>, yeah, <laughs> you maybe, filled well, in your uh, own blanks. I see. Uh, yeah, they. Well, they. Nigger. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Maybe he meant. Maybe <laughs> he actually said nagger. Real racist came out. <laughs> he actually said nagger, and they put they replaced the uh, two letters with with asterisks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's so stupid. It's just so stupid. Yeah, tell me more I think about he's what he's just said. forcing their hands in terms of the lip service people pay to free speech. He's just saying, okay, fine. And, yeah, he yeah. wanted to test and see if they were going to. I don't think he's really biracial, no, bisexual. No. I'm, I'm not buying it. He Just says from the, he is. From it's the a picture. politically correct uh, caricature that he's creating. Yeah. There. Really? I wish he were. I, he doesn't seem like the kind hot. of guy who's trying to be politically correct, though. <laughs> right. No, he's, but that's why he's trying to make this alter ego thing. He's like, oh, I'm this biracial, bi whatever so that said, they can't get him yeah. it's a way to use no, their voodoo magic right. like oh here's the magic words i have to say to be a protected class i can't be oh. racist because i'm black or i can't yeah well he is a black man but that's not enough right but because you can't be racist the absolute lowest possible rung you can get to is to be female and then 
anything else you can stack with that is even more. So, so he, he doesn't be like a black gender identify, lesbian female. He doesn't gender identify, right? Which is even lower than female. That's no, no not according to feminists. Muslim, that would be the, like. Uh, you have oh, to understand right. he upset according feminists. To feminists it's, it, it was be on, they would be on top. This is all started by feminist social justice warriors. And you don't dare try to out victim a feminist. Don't you dare. But he's trying. That's yeah. what he's doing. <laughs> by by adding all those tags, by having all those yeah, labels. That's what it seems Maybe. like. Here's and what that, he says. He said, all right. Right. "Basically, I was interested in experimenting with how much research the media would actually do." He told uh, True told me because most people just went off the BuzzFeed article, but the BuzzFeed article linked to my petition, which was filled with a lot more information than the BuzzFeed article was necessarily able to impart. So I basically just asked you to print that word because I wanted to see if you were willing to report on my story or if you were committed to maintaining your readership. Well, who isn't p committed to maintain their readership, though? Yeah. I mean, it's a business. What's his point? I don't know. Um, it, it does sound like he is just sort of trying to go around. He does seem like off. kind of an ass. Yeah. Like, don't go to read college. OK, <laughs> did you know what you were in for going to a college in Portland? Like a liberal arts college in Portland. Go figure. Uh, join, oh, listen I'm to looking this at their, their front page. It says, join our mailing list. Follow our Tumblr. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, listen to this haven. rant. Okay, what? You got to hear his rant. Uh, I am the god of MRAs. That means men's rights activists. Anti-feminists, anti-Marxists, libertarians, and white heteronormative men and women everywhere. Yum. Um, He's I am the a, god? That's what he said. I like it. I am a misogynist and a misandrist, a racist and a feminist. Re well, wow. He doesn't sound like a feminist. He's just trying to throw a bunch of word salads in there. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm here to call you out on your bullshit, Reed. I made my entire college run for cover. Reed. Because I, I'm an actual activist. I yelled nigger in public places and nonviolently disrupted a forum on student activism when I felt my rights weren't respected. Now that's sactivism. Sactivism. Oh no, that's activism. Sorry, the words were not running <laughs> together. Uh, <laughs> gender that's, femi a, that's a nice new term. Gender Thank feminist. <laughs> uh, gender feminist. I am a biracial, bisexual, non gender conforming black nigger. Suck my enormous black dick. Wow. With a period after each word. Suck my. Yeah, anyway. Wow. And I'm sure Derek would. Yes, he I went, would. Okay, but only if you call me faggot. <laughs> he can call me whatever he wants. <laughs> He's already stood for enough. I think that's good. All right. <laughs> cool beans. Um, wow. Okay, I like this guy. Yeah, I kind of do, but I do feel like he's just now he's just being arbitrarily provocative. What, right? What's coming up next? Um, I want to gonna rant about I'm gonna talk about my I'm gonna I'm gonna rant about deep throating and the, right. the, the 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 sad lack of it in modern porn. Yeah. And the pathetic blowjobs that they're doing now instead. Yeah, and right. uh, and how I found my keys and how masturbation solves everything. Flamingfreedom.com slash live. You can watch us and join the chat room. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather not see Cantwell's underwear. <laughs> Thanks, what? Jizzy Wob. I don't know. We've Cantwell. got an active chat room. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a surprisingly more active, I think, than even when in other shows. Oh, Shire Dude is here. Yeah, I just told him. I like the new shave. The new Shire Dude shave. Did you see? He chopped off his oh. beard. Oh, did he? Cantwell did? Shire Dude. Oh, Shire Dude. Oh, oh. Did he shave, though, or did he just show us an old picture? I thought he just showed an old picture. Both. Oh, okay. He showed an old picture. He was it got a, a good reaction. Dude was a twink. Yes. And he may still be. I don't know. He was from L.A. Okay. I mean, how can you be from L.A. and not be a twink when you're... 18 years old or whatever that yeah, I wonder was. how much how much dick do you think he sucked with those twink a lot. lips fuck a lot. I mean come on LA twink <laughs> they gotta be all over you you gotta be like <laughs> the most precious commodity I don't know yeah I think Maybe it's, so. it's like pearls in China yeah oh Shire dude thanks Derek J you're welcome man oh come on you don't think he's uh, hot in drag lulz <sighs> Who? I'm telling you the, the, the yeah. Well, I should yeah, save. It. Well. I'm gonna save it for them when we come back. But I definitely want to do my rant about deep throating and how there's just not. It's just not done like it used to be. It used, it used to be commonplace. Really? Deep. Yeah, I don't feel like there's like, as much. I don't, you don't. It's hard, use, to, it's hard to find it now. It seems. People ask me if I can deep throw. It should be the like, default. That's a that's a common question. You guys get yeah. that a lot too. Like it's like no. I need deep throw. Nope. I no. I don't get that because I have to. 
Yeah. If you're going to be sucking a really big dick, you've got to be able to deep throat or else they're not going to be feeling anything. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. You're just going to be on their head the whole time. That's, right. that's and, no good. Yeah. So I, I, I'm i going to go on my rant when uh, when we All come right. back. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save my rant. But when Who we get is back, I'm going to talk about Has CC done a TLG impression in costume? What is that? TLG. CC. That's Chris Cantwell. Okay. Done a TLG. The love guru. I don't know. TL. I'd probably be able to tell you that if I hadn't had two shots of whiskey before the show. Oh, at some point too. Um, let's see. We've got a few more segments. Token libertarian girl. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay. At some point too, we definitely want to get to this. Um, feminists want to ban clapping uh, over what? anxiety concerns and replace with jazz hands. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the same at all that's this, not gonna work by the way when i posted this on our page i posted a link on our page outside of the show prep uh thread yeah and it got a lot of people worked up like a whole bunch of people oh yeah got you know you know how facebook tells outside, you how many you people should do that reached. outside the show thread page when more. we post when we post stuff about feminists yeah we get a huge people reach. hate it no a lot of people no people love it they click like they comment and we get a huge reach Whereas normally, like a lot of the stuff we post doesn't reach many of our listeners because, you, by the way, listeners, you're supposed to be scrolling. Uh, you're supposed to scroll down from the uh, like button and click get notifications. Otherwise, yes. you're not going to get our stuff most right. of the time. Right. Yeah, that's a fact. Make sure you do that. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. You are listening to Flaming Freedom Live, and if you like, you can go to flamingfreedom.com/live and watch us live on YouTube. But you can also get into our chat room that way. And while you're listening, uh, I would also like to let you know that you may not be getting hardly anything on Facebook from us if you did not go to the like button and then a little drop down menu will appear and say get notifications. Make sure you check that. Otherwise, you're not getting our crap. And we send out a lot of crap. We have good stuff. It's yeah, it's good crap. stuff. It's good stuff, but you may not even see it. If you never even see it, you can't even click like, we right? Have stories you haven't even seen. And uh, one, but here's the thing that I've noticed, because I can see how many people were reached. I mean, how many people actually got? The, so what's the thing. what's like the difference between two stories that are, have okay, different the topics? Transgender roller girl is this woman who was harassed by police and got a fifteen thousand dollars settlement. And there was a clickbait title by some libertarian article I posted about that. That got like forty nine people. Forty nine people saw that, or it ended up in their feed somewhere, and they were no, or, or notified about it or whatever. Um, the, the, the other 800 of our likes did not even ever, didn't even know we put it out. Never, never got a notification or anything. Hmm. Didn't show up on their feed. So How sad. Uh, meanwhile, when we post stuff about feminists doing crazy stuff, we, we it gets huge reach. It goes, it gets much Does better. Does Facebook contribute to that? Do they like pump up our feminism posts? Like, oh, this I, has feminism in it. That's a mm, trending topic. Let's uh, spread that they, around a little they bit. They control it, no doubt. I yeah. mean, the, the, way, the only way to get around that, again, is to click get notifications. You need to find a way to hack that. into the, the Facebook algorithm and, and yeah. make like flaming freedom. Uh, yeah, it's called paying them to uh, <laughs> yes. boost your post. That's, that's, what it is. that's how I will hack. Yeah, I'll, I'll but, just pay them money. But our, but our listeners don't send us any money, so. Oh right, well. Yeah, yeah. We were so just talking about hosting. We, anyway, we will get into this. Matter. There's a about about feminists at a com at a conference in a at a college that want to ban clapping because of anxiety concerns. I tell you what. Who's anxiety? I tell you what. That's a nice slow clap for the I, feminists. I, if, 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 thank God I don't listen to feminists, or I would think women are just the most pathetic. Uh, you know, I don't listen. Thank goodness, They're I don't very have that. Poor attitude. representations of most women. <laughs> like I would just say, women are just so weak and pathetic and fragile and can't do anything without the help of men. But again, I don't listen to feminists, so I know better than that. But that's what I would think if I paid any attention to them. What are they worried about? The clapping making making people it's noisy, nervous. I guess, and it triggers people and it gives them anxiety. <laughs> so we're too fragile for that. We're too fragile for clapping. There were people at the conference that society, complained in their Twitter feeds. Yeah. And so the conference um, people are clapping organizers and not using jazz put, hands. Put out an official Twitter saying, you know, please, please try not to clap and use jazz hands instead because it's upsetting some people. Like they're having speakers and people are clapping for the speakers and no oh, trigger you triggered me. Ah. Uh, I'm no, like I, back into my rape scene. So porn. Somebody's clapping. We're gonna we're gonna get back into the clapping thing. But yeah. I wanna do my rant. Yeah, porn, yeah. right? Okay, so Pornhub's pretty good, first of all. Yeah, Pornhub is. I'm, I'm where liking it's at. Pornhub. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, which has uh, a which, side by from the way, Tumblr. If you're looking for a video, yeah. Pornhub is where Tumblr it's is at. a great consolidator, uh, a great consolidator. Pornhub. Um, What's your username on Pornhub? Can we be friends? Are we already uh, friends? I don't want to share my username publicly, but I, I'll talk to you later. Oh, not, not Pornhub. Come on. I, I do share stuff I like on on our um. You've on already our got like championship flaming dot freedom. Stuff. I have some privacy. Can I just have a little, <laughs> just like a smidgen of privacy? Okay. Like I've talked about, like, like people can draw my penis. I've described it in so much detail. <laughs> can I have just like a just the easy, just like a. Here, I have to get on the camera for this. Just like a, just an easy, easy little bit of privacy, like about the porn I watch even. But I still share. I share it on Tumblr, right? You can go to flaming.freedom.tumblr or flamingfreedom.tumblr.com and you can see uh, porn suggestions there. I post some stuff there and I'm pretty shameless. You know I am. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what I like. But um, but anyway, so yeah, the porn, Pornhub has achievements. Yeah. Like a video game. It's like, not cool. I, I guess, but like, really, I I, I, need, I get rewards for I'm like watching more brag porn. About yeah, you know, <laughs> it's like the expression about how in business people don't really care about more money; they just care about a fancier title. So I feel like maybe the, mm. those sorts of rewards and titles, and I badges don't give keep a people flying on the website. Fuck about titles. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, just give me money and I won't even you go to work. You libertarian. I won't even go You're to work. One of those just give me money. <laughs> Anarcho-capitalists. <laughs> Crazy about money. All right, so tell me about cocksucking. I was watching some good stuff on Pornhub. I found one where there was some proper deep throating, right? Like, this was a thing. Like, you what used you to watch proper? porn. What's like, different actual, about it? People, people suck dick like pansies these days. Mean? Like, most porn. What do you mean, people? You were playing the pronoun game, guys, gals. Well, I guess I don't. I'm not really are watching. Are we the assuming that the gals are I guess, fucking like I pansy? guess guys. I, whatever, dude. I, what, whatever. I'm watching. Obviously, I'm watching guys. Yeah. So, so uh, you're painting people, with a broad brush, is all. I'm oh, saying. okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're. Maybe, maybe the girls. Maybe the girls out. are doing better. Yeah, it's very possible. So the guys, I see. It's 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 getting. To, why do you have? You shouldn't have to like do a search for deep throat. That should be the default. There yeah. should be a, a a search term for pansy sucking. <laughs> if you only kind of like you know kiss it and and and, and like lick the side and then kind of put your mouth on it an inch or two, but like proper proper uh, dip, deep throwing should be the default normal thing you do, right? Do, do you How do I know you care, Derek? How do I know you care if your eyes aren't watering a little? You know, if you don't have tears streaming down your cheeks, if you're not gagging, if my balls are not bouncing violently off of your chin, how do I know you care? Do you even care? <laughs> it's a good you don't question. care. I don't. No, so I, I do care, Dale. But yeah, no, your eyes have to be watering <laughs> a little bit. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I agree Put your back you. into it is what do, I'm saying. Do you do this or you just demand this of others? Oh, no, I would absolutely. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. And you have I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay. Like, I don't know how big have it is. I don't know how big it is. Have you ever thrown up? No. <laughs> I've thrown up. I've gagged, though. <laughs> I've gagged. I mean, talk about embarrassing. If you don't gag, you're not trying that hard, right? Sorry if you know when you're doing yoga and you're doing the you're doing down dog, right? Yeah. Like down dog, you get in the V kind of downward position and your ankle and your if you're the thing is if your feet are flat on the floor, you're not challenging yourself enough. You got to move your feet back a little more so you can get a, a you know greater stretch in your calves. Right? If your feet are flat on the floor, then you didn't you're not trying hard enough. It's the same thing with deep throating. If yeah. you're not gagging, you're not you're not trying you're really hard not enough. Trying. Yeah. You've got to force it as much as possible. You got to put your back into it. Get like some elbow everything grease. into it. I think you're just assuming your preferences are normative. I mean, honestly. <laughs> no, well, some people some might really like the normative throating. thing is half ass dick shallow sucking. Shallow throating. Shallow throating. Shallow throating is, that's the normative? <laughs> like half ass dick sucking is the it's normative. Not, some people prefer it that way. Uh, why would you yeah, want? That's inexcusable. Like, like Derek, I want you to suck my dick here, but don't get too crazy. <laughs> don't make it feel too good. Don't bother. Just kind of stick the tip in your mouth a little bit. Don't put like much of my penis in there. There's nerves all the way down it. But just think, just put a little bit of it in your mouth. That's how I like it, okay, Derek? <laughs> just go easy on it. I don't... Right? Why, why does this offend you so greatly? Yeah. You've been watching this porn and it's just not this, getting you off because these guys are just like half-assing their dick sucking? They are. They're half-assing it most of the time. 95% of the porn I see or more. It, it's That's a low <laughs> number. That's a, that's a conservative number. At least 95%. They're just half-assed it. They maybe get half the dick in their mouth at best. And then they don't even try any harder than that, and then, uh, and it's just like the standards have gone have gone down. I just you know in the good old <laughs> days, I remember the good old days when they would put their back into it. You know, they would really <laughs> they the would show sweat, that they care. Sweat off their brow. 
They would show that they care. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, they would cry a show little bit. Show me you care. Probably a change in labor regulations. Oh, my God. <laughs> maybe. Hey, we, we got a question in the chat Someone, room. They, maybe, they raised the minimum wage. and Maybe we can come back with this. Uh, <laughs> no Bullshit wants to know, have you ever given a rim job, and could you describe a really good one for us? Of course I have. Well, well, of course that. we have. At times, it's been one of my favorite things. Flamingfreedom.com slash live. Check us out. We'll be back in a moment. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people... So yeah, there we go. I got, I'm so glad I got that on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems so like better. that was like just wrenching you. <laughs> like, holy fuck. <laughs> I've never seen you so passionate, passionate about yeah. anything. And That's going to be really a clip for YouTube now. That was great. That <laughs> gonna, would be a good I'm gonna, I'm going to edit that out for YouTube. That was all for, you, right? You were on for camera preview. for you the whole time? No, I think I actually forgot to put myself on camera for a big chunk of that. <laughs> you switched like back to me for a little bit. Yeah, no, I, 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 I missed a, a lot of it Just was not forget me. forget so me. When do you think it shifted to shallow to throating? Like ah, what, when four did or five happen? years ago, what happened? Like mostly ever since like an internet when, porn. No, no, I remember when you had to go to the store and buy porn I'll tell you what a, happened. on a VHS tape. It's the broke straight guys that ruined oh, it. Oh, is that it? I think that's like, what introduced is it. Is it a lot of straight guys it getting was, into porn now? It was and the they straight don't really, guys who were like, uh, nah, they don't, don't feel really it. They, really they don't really feel it. There could it be that now that there's the internet, it's amateur hour all the time. Yeah, it is. Because anyone can go out there. And before, like you said, you had to go get a tape. Obviously, they had auditions. You could really do it. Yeah, I think maybe, I think there were there were fewer people willing to do porn a while a while back. The taboo has been lightening up more and more. Now there's almost no taboo. Yeah, everyone people do porn in their. Do you record your sex? Uh, no, I don't. Do you record your sex? No. So uh, not more people Pornhub. are doing it, so the standards have just gone down. Okay, it used to be the pros, right? They would get, they would, they knew what they were doing. Yeah, they didn't half-ass that shit, right? They didn't, they didn't phone it in. I don't know, right? The, yeah, the pros like they could, if they could so still get the job done yeah, when they're phoning if it they're in. They're so though. great though. How come they're not, you know, saturating the market with their superior quality? I mean, well, there's only one of them. It's part of the nature of the business. Huh. you know, there needs to be multiple people. Yeah. You can't have like the... Oh, we have to ask David about his porn preferences. Oh, yeah. We haven't even gotten there. I'd, actually, should, I'd, I'd like to go there. don't use porn. D don't Get use out porn. of here. I, well, I, stop pictures, lying to me. Pictures, I, still you, pictures. You could, go, you could go through my computer and you would find no porn. Well, that's, a, that's understandable because most of mine's online anyway. Well, but, but I, no, I don't... I, but you, I, no, I believe although, you. I believe you if you say that. I will that. say, I was in Boy Scouts with a guy who later became a very famous gay porn star. What? Oh, yeah. Can you say Who? names? Probably yeah, not. he worked oh. for. Uh, I didn't know. I didn't know because I didn't watch porn. I knew he was right. a star because he was friends with the family. And we, uh, I, I went online and asked around. I put pictures of him. Says, Does anybody know who this is? And uh, his name. He worked for. Was it Co Cody Fisher or Corbin Fisher? Cody. Okay, Corbin Fisher. And uh, his name was Isn't Travis. It? I think it's Corbin Fisher. That's not his real name, but his name there was Travis. Oh, I think I know who yeah, you, I might yeah. know who you're he's, talking about. He's retired he's now. He's a famous bottom, isn't he's he? He's retired now. He would do... Uh, he could come without... Travis is a bottom hands, name. Yeah. yeah. He could I, come without there's his a, hands, there's a, There was a very popular bottom on Corbin Travis, who's, or Corbin Fisher, who was pretty pretty amazing. I think he's been done for a couple of years now, we but... Uh, we didn't I was, could be, yeah. But I, 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 I recall... That's him. him. That's him. Hot. Oh, He's. I mean, he didn't. He's look got like, kind of like a Greco. What's his last thing name? Going. He didn't. He didn't look like that when he was like in eighth grade. But oh, what's well, his? He what's the last know. name? So I can find. Yeah. So I can no, find no, him. Travis Corbin. Oh yeah, Fisher. that's like 2012, 2013. Dude, keep your Twitter it's, updated, man. I mean, I, I was so unfamiliar with porn, I didn't even know where to look. So I just posted his picture someplace and said, "Does anyone know who this is?" And wow. Maybe he goes to Reed College. I mean, I know I know who the real person is and, and all that, but yeah, people ask me all the time, oh, what's hey, his real name? We're coming back in 30 seconds, Dale. All Ooh, right. He's hot. Yeah, he is. That's, Yum, who's that? He I is. I don't like the long hair. This is your chance to save I kind of want to save that, but I'm not. I don't use this computer for any porn. It's a studio computer. So what would you do with it if you could save it? I, I would put it in my, my um, background scrolling. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's up like, you know, it changes yeah, out background sexy. pictures and also my screensaver. It'd be on my screensaver. He needs a haircut. He's waxed. Dude is waxed. We are back. Thank you for listening to me talking about guys waxing themselves. This is your, uh, your host, Dale. And Derek J. And Dave. I, I'm kind of, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of taking charge. It's really Derek's show. But today, I guess because we're in my studio, 
Yeah. Know, it just feels like I like a, it. It's we just habit. Just it's go habit. with what feels natural, Dale. Yes. Yes, I will. So I got it out of my system. Thank you, listeners, for letting me get that out of my system about the quality going down in porn these days. Uh, and about people just not caring and just phoning it in. Yeah, you were in a serious oral. rage about that. It's not right. It's not right. And for someone who really doesn't deep throat, like you are really passionate wait, wait, about that. On, 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 on. I'm Did saying you say for someone who doesn't deep throat. Yeah, because you're I'm like, gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right. You, you, the, the best you time. said was, "I try." You're like, "I try." Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Like, like the effort is what matters. It's the effort yeah. that matters, okay. right? All right. Maybe it's, you know. Maybe all what you're seeing are people trying. They're just not. No, really they're not. Yet. I can tell <laughs> they're not trying. They don't care. <laughs> Yeah, they don't but, care if you just you know. Ugh, it's just, bunch of pussies. Ah, uh, they don't care. They Show learn. me you love me, right? <laughs> Start having tutorials. Yes, maybe that's what we need. It's it's just it should so, you shouldn't need a tutorial. It's such a it's the obvious. It's what you do. It's so what like, you do. can I can I tell a disgusting story that I'll regret later? So absolutely, I th- I that's what the show is all about. I threw up on myself giving a giving head. Uh, now, to, see, that's deep, effort, though. Deep throating. Oh, I yeah. would know. At least I know you I care. I try. Yeah. I threw up twice. You really care. <laughs> I if really you throw up twice. care. Like in the same session or it's in a the time? same fucking session. So, like, I cleaned up myself, you know, recovered as much as you can, as gracefully from just throwing up basically on a guy's dick, but it's not on his dick. I took my mouth off. So, I basically threw up all over myself. As gracefully as a person can recover from that, I then went back to sucking his dick over in a different part of the room and proceeded to then throw up a second time. So at that point, I was just like, was this carpet I ruined? give it up. No, oh. this carpet was not ruined. Because like, I guess I'd been drinking. I hadn't really eaten much that day. and It was all water. It was, so it was, it, was, it was nothing. Yeah. So it was okay. like, it wasn't throw up like, oh, here's a bunch of omelets and stuff I ate this morning. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> oh, disgusting. Oh. It was basically That's somebody's just like, fetish. That's somebody's yeah, fetish video. Somebody right there. does get off on that. But I'm serious. Like as, as far as throwing up in that sort of public situation can go, it was not that bad. Like yeah. it was, it was that like liquidy, like that's just basically water. I no finally found my keys. Thanks to deep throating. Thanks to finally what? finding a good deep throat video. Cause I you was like, like, there are my keys. I'm like, there we go. Well, they were in my chair <laughs> down that guy's throat. They were in my chair <laughs> down in the crevices somewhere. What? And I, t- I tipped over my chair. I tried to find you were them fucking before your couch. No, but I was lying. I, I fully extended my chair. I was going at it. Cause this was a good you porn. Were- this wasn't some half-assed dick sucking. Fully this was some, extended the chair. This, that's right. I fully extended the chair. I was going at it. It was the the, the I'm sure the other attendants was this in my two building. Hands? The um, other tenants. I think heard. it maybe was. I think they the other tenants in my building uh, felt the the shaking maybe, and then that shook out my keys finally, and they finally wow. came out. So really, masturbation solves a lot of problems. It sure does. That's we very anecdotal evidence. I would say that I know that's science, man. That okay. is science. In jail, it <laughs> solves all the problems that you have. So, so, yeah. In jail, that's I, I all think you've got. really the most, so many of the problems in the world are due to not frequent enough masturbation and not, and not vigorous enough. So not really, vigorous enough? Right. Cause like I, that I masturbated in that same chair so many times and did not shake my keys out. Right. 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 Before. Right. Right. Yes. To solve more science. problems, more vigorous. Science. Can't argue with no. it. Dale, you're on fire tonight. I, I can't. I? Yeah, I don't know where this came from. This ball of energy. It's the you've got. Do you want to complain it's about the feminist now? animal? Nah. <laughs> what do you want? Alone. What do you want to? I want to talk. I want to talk about talk. David's fetishes. Okay, David's we've got fetishes, him on yes. here. He's in the hot seat. He really can't leave. I'm. It's. I'm in between him and the door. So basically, I get to ask him any question he wants, or I want. I and I not agree to this before. So. Now that it's now that you've consented, um, what are your fetishes? Hmm. Well, also, just in case people missed it, I I don't like porn. I've never been into porn. Uh, it's obviously not wrong, and people can watch it, but uh, it's not for me. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, kind of for me, the earliest thing would basically revolve around uh, locker room settings and communal showering. Like it's I had, fairly I had, mild. Yeah, I had agoraphobia growing up, and then when I got over it, it just kind of blossomed and um 
Yeah. Is that fear of open like, spaces? What about public, like kind of being seen or something in well, a locker? Like, is it the is it the possibility of getting caught because it's a public setting, or is it just because it's no, a masculine I know, setting? I mean, I've I've known people who are like that who like to do risky things in public. Yeah. Um, it's just, oh, yeah, it's just because it's hot. associated with the gym and it's very masculine and stuff. Mm. Is that it? No, just oh. the whole public nudity thing was, you know, oh. like it's real real common for people to be nervous about that growing up, and I was, but I I got over it. As I was way. too. Yeah. I was almost traumatized as a kid. My dad took me to the gym and you took me to the, the Navy's locker room. Got over that real fast. <laughs> I had to, yeah. I had to get over it. It was amazing how quick you can get over something when you have to. Yeah. Right. I always said, like, you know, if someone I cared deeply about was in the in the shark tank, I'd be like diving in to get them. I'd be having a panic attack, but I'd do it. You got to do what you got to do. I have a shark phobia. Wait, probably. they had a shark tank in the Navy. <laughs> no, but I, I had to have a shark phobia. Yes. He was in the Navy of with Doctor Evil. Yeah, we know when you when you're those when you're... sea bass with lasers on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. okay, no, I'm pretty, you pretty don't like Jane. porn. Yeah. Well, oh, but have I you ask found you... other people like you? Because I have one. I have a friend who is asexual, who doesn't like porn, and to me that makes sense because it's like all right. You don't have this it's like too, sexual drive. No, it's not because of lack of sexual drive. It's just too passive for me. You know, it's just you sit back and watch, and I always, you know, that's not appealing to me. I like to be more assertive uh, in my fantasies. So, yeah. Derek's uh, logic is shakier than Delbert's chair. <laughs> that's uh, from the chat room. I don't know what they're referring to, but yeah, what logic? <laughs> <laughs> so, let me ask you a quick question. What about just still photos? No, you don't have like just photos? Uh, I do have some. Uh, I don't ever use them though. Uh, okay. that's a case of oh that's really nice I'll keep that and then it just sits there and yeah so okay. I, I have one one folder I actually have so I specifically put not, mine in a screensaver like folder so that they'll come up on screensaver nope, or whatever no nope, don't have that so when and I have them segregated rate, by like rated X and rated PG so I get guys who are clothed or whatever because I'll have like the PG one by default and then I'll just switch on the X one briefly because I don't want like if I have guests over I don't want them to see like naked dudes you can have multiple screensavers and switch over. Well, you just change business. the settings on your screensaver oh, okay. to a different yeah, folder. Yeah, I know. About I segregate that. the the pictures right. in the folders. Okay. Or if you want to mix it up, you yeah. should just leave all you can, the dirty you can ones. You just and go let to the next higher folder that has both of those folders mm -hmm. in it. Just let your guests yeah. deal with it. Okay. No, they're, they're I, adults. I like. I try to be respectful. I don't want my. my Who I don't want to see a pretty well, ass. I don't want people to like be uncomfortable to the point where they don't want to come back to my apartment again. I'm trying to make You're my guests to, comfortable. I'm, I'm I next expect, time. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I expect yeah. that gay men are going to have their house filled with naked men. Like eh. naked art. Eh. My gay uncles always had all I kinds know, of antiques with naked men and stuff. Now we know what like, happened to Derek. He had gay uncles and it rubbed no, off on him. It got it's up, contagious. <laughs> well, what was your question? Uh, I wanted to know I, about oh. when you masturbate. Do you just use your imagination? That's correct. Every time. It's wow. better a lot of times. Like, uh, there's a lot of porn you can't compare to my own fantasies no, you that can't. I can come up with. Because you're in control of your fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. They're spanking you just right in your fantasy, you know? They're hmm. calling you faggot and. I mean, and I, I don't, I know, <laughs> whatever that, it is. I know that uh, <laughs> most people, this isn't a problem, but I have known uh, not only gay people, but I have a, actually a straight subscriber who's addicted to porn and also to the point where like he can't get off unless he's got porn and it's so passive to the point where he he can't get off until the right thing is on and he's, oh yeah he's just he's stuck and he might spend four hours trying to find the right thing and i'm oh, like wow yeah like that and i'm not saying everyone is like that that's like the south park way, episode when the internet went out remember no. And he had yeah. to go find porn. Randy, well, they went to a FEMA <laughs> camp that had emergency internet. Right? And when he finally got the porn he needed, he finally got access to the internet. It was just a Oh, it's like balls disaster. exploded or something. Oh, yeah. I come everywhere. <laughs> he just was like, because he had been so pent up, he couldn't come without it. Oh, that's right? sad. Yeah, it is kind of sad. I, can, I mean, I can kind of relate a little in that if I do decide I'm going to watch porn, I can, I can totally, like there's times I wake up in my bed and I'm, I've had some interesting dreams and then the fantasies just continue from there and I don't need no porn. I'm fine. We're about to end. But, uh, or sorry, we'll be back in a minute. But, um, but then there's times when I'm looking for just the right thing. You get in the mood, you know, like, oh, I want to find just the right thing. I'm, I'm... Or you just had a dream about something and you want to go find that. No. No? No, probably All right. not. All right, folks, flamingfreedom.com slash live. We'll be right back. Yeah, because like, oh, we should plug gain artists. Are you in gain artists? Nope. Are you oh, on Facebook? Oh, he's not in Gainarchist. Tell you, I put him in Gainarchist. Are you on Facebook? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's on. Okay, then you got to be in it. I was actually locked out for the last month. Of, of Facebook? Yeah, because I had to change my name. Oh, I'm going to invite him right now. Okay. I think we just add him, actually. Yeah. And then he can leave if And wants. then we'll make you an admin. Ooh, who changed the the top? I like it. It's, it's drag. Uh, they changed it. I think Did that was uh, that? Ann. Yeah, I think Ann changed it. If she wants, she's trying to get a drag show going, which is she awesome. She should just go to a drag show. It, well, she wants to do our thing. She wants to be in it and do stuff and all that. That's all five of us. I mean, come on, let's let's let someone let the professionals I'm not handle sure it I and go wanna, in drag. I'm not sure I even want to go. Why don't I, I we don't, just go I'm to a drag show it. in drag? I'm not into drag. I'm I'm into it. I like it. I think it's fun. Well, it's you should fun. totally do it then. I'm but, not into it. But I don't want to do it with like two other people. I'm gonna be like, yeah, look, okay. Look, then we look at each other. If someone, like, okay. I tell you what, I would do. What I could get talked into is if someone else would do a lot of the work and effort. If they really wanted <laughs> to do me up into a woman, yeah, I'd want to do like a tasteful, good-looking woman as best they can. Who would you be? And what, I don't want kind know. of woman. Hillary Clinton. Blanche. I would Dubois. be. I would be. I would be tasteful. I wouldn't be like a, what I wouldn't be is like a caricature of a woman. Which has a lot of drag, which I don't have a problem with that. Like that's 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 just the style. Yeah, some you better like. not have a problem with but, that because um, I'm Marilyn Monroe when I do drag. Th- no, not a character. Oh, okay. a caricature of a woman. Right, a caricature is so exaggerated. Like exaggerated features. I, I, yeah. I'm still exaggerated. You did a pretty classy Marilyn Monroe. I thought. I Thank don't you. Know. So I, you know, I would want to do it like that. I wouldn't want to do the the over. Over okay. the top, really ridiculous. So drag. be a classy Marilyn with me. That you can't go wrong with Marilyn. Every gay man wants right. to be Marilyn Monroe. This is Flaming Freedom live on LRN.fm. We're also live at flamingfreedom.com slash live, where you can watch us on YouTube live. And uh, I need to say live some more. And you can get into our chat room. And uh, talk to us. Sometimes we actually look at what you're saying and respond to you. <laughs> or you could call us. Do, uh, they can't call us right now because I have been running Skype. Oh, it's okay, though. Balls. Should I start it now? I did, like, yeah, we should because I asked a friend to call in. Maybe it will. I don't uh, know. I haven't been communicating. It, it, all right, I'll start it. You guys have to entertain people while I'm doing Skype. All right, well, you do that. Um, did, oh, I yeah, want to right. talk about my website. I, I just uploaded 14 podcasts today. Count them 14. That's a lot of podcasts, God damn Good it. job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I've got 10 more to upload tomorrow. That's like a gazillion hours of entertaining audio content at TheDerekJ.com. It's all free. I don't charge for any of that. You can send me Bitcoin, of course. Same website, TheDerekJ.com. And if you're really cool and you're queer and an anarchist, I want to see you in the Gainarchists group. It's yeah. a revolutionary kind of Facebook group where everyone's an admin and nothing has gone wrong yet. You think that it might. It's sort of like a test of anarchy, you know, like where everyone's a sovereign, everyone's in control, and uh, you think that things might go wrong, but they don't. It's kind of counterintuitive and cool. And uh, you can take control of the graphic on the top, the name of the group, and share whatever content you want. Then there hasn't been any problems yet. So that's pretty cool. People cool. share cool stuff. So and right I, now, I want Dave to be a part of that group too. Dave, will you join us? I was flattered when you said I'd be an admin, but now I realize everyone's <laughs> an admin. Yeah. So, folks, if you want to call into the show, this is the last segment. You can do so by uh, skyping to flaming dot freedom. That's it. Flaming dot freedom. Oh, nice. You're signed in. Okay, rad. Yes. Let me text my friend. Tell him to sign in. Tell him to uh, call us. Is this Scotty? New? Is this? Is his name Scotty? No. Okay. Who's That's Scotty? Right. Does he want to join us? <laughs> no, his his name is Nicholas. Listeners of the show might know him. He's Nicholas Schenken. Should we accept this person? He's just, I don't know yeah, who he is. Accept all random people. They're probably good. All right. We'll That's how it works it. on the internet. Then they can start spamming us because they're probably bots. Yep. That's fine. So, um, okay. So, so I do last a, time I was in oh. Manchester, I destroyed my car. Yeah. It's I'm sorry. Ruined. It's gone now. That's part of the reason I had to come here was oh. to kiss it goodbye. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> uh, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to the mechanic and saying, uh, there's nothing I can do with this. Okay. I wanted to share I'm that. Sorry. Yeah. So I want to share, I have a little rant about rape culture and about... Um, rape culture? 
uh, about 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 rape, about lowering the standards for rape, because like this is something that came up a couple shows ago. Remember, uh, Stephanie caught in, and we kind of had a nice discussion. Yeah, and I had some some more to say, kind of on that subject. And um, here, let me get to the to the thing. So, like, I wanted to make a comparison, right? Uh, you know, because there's this this talk about the standard being enthusiastic consent, or else it's rape, right? But rape is force. Rape is force. Rape is not coaxing someone into sex when they're not absolutely 100% on board right away. Coaxing someone into sex, that's, that's negotiation. Right. That's not force. If you go to a salesman, like I, I know this guy went to a car salesman, for instance, and the guy was just really pushy. So that guy was a douche, but he wasn't a thief, right? He didn't like make you buy the car. He didn't hold a gun to your head and say, you have to give me your money and to buy this car. But at one point, he did, like, he was being really pushy, and the guy was like, well, I'm done, I'm out of here. He was really upset, and, and the guy was being so douchey. He starts to go to his car, and the salesman gets in front of him, blocks him, and shuts his car door to keep him from leaving. And that is now, he has now gone beyond douche. At that point, he's like, okay, call the police. Not, not, not call the police, but you know what I mean, right? It's an assault. At, yeah. at that point, you're, you, yeah, you're trying to keep me from leaving. You're, you're restraining me. That's force. But up until that point, it was all negotiation. It was all coaxing, negotiation, maybe even pushiness. But it wasn't force. And you don't call that, like, he wasn't stealing, <laughs> right? Um, if, if, you, if, you, if someone haggles with you about a price, they're not stealing. And if someone coaxes you into sex, that's not rape. Rape has to involve force. You're being really quiet and just staring at me. I don't know how. Yeah, because I agree with you. I've got nothing to say. I mean, yeah, rape has to involve force. <laughs> duh. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess that is kind of a revolutionary point. I don't for, know for, for a lot of people. It is. It is for some people who are saying that we want to call it rape if there's not enthusiastic consent. Yeah. Uh, or they want to kick someone out of college because they didn't get enthusiastic consent. I've been to college campuses where those rules are spelled out like in the safety campus safety area where they're like yeah if you are a little bit tipsy like that is not consent in all capital it's, letters it's fine like, to it's fine to encourage that like if you want to like it's fine to say you know what just for your own sake like i would tell people no, for your own sake people, because people are being rape. ridiculous it's telling people yeah. that a bunch of things that aren't rape are no, that's, rape. That's, that's what I'm not okay with. That's what it's doing. I, I think, I think it, like if I were, if I were say, I, I wouldn't be in a frat, but if I were in a frat and I was concerned about my frat brothers, I would probably be, be telling them like, dude, just really get, get, go, just be sure, <laughs> you know, cause there's so much, uh, there's so much bullshit. And, um, and, and just be, just be really sure because, uh, you know, th there's a case where if she's, if she's not, if she doesn't seem like enthusiastic, uh, like, they're, like they're saying, then, it could be one of these cases where the next day she decides, yeah, I don't really feel good about what I did, so I'm going to call that rape. Right? Yeah, that's so, why you got to have text messages to prove that uh, there was consent. But they could still yeah. say I changed my mind after I sent that message, though. You know, like, yeah, but that's I why you got to totally get a follow-up text message <laughs> saying like how great that sex was. Did that, did that <laughs> get happen? A you need a follow up. <laughs> How do you do that? It might be, you know, but what if it wasn't great? No, be like, that next, was great. Hey, the next day I had a great what if it was time. horrible. Yeah, no, not yeah. next day, like hours later. <laughs> be like, got to yeah. confirm. <laughs> you got to put a timestamp on that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Do you think do you think this comes from a genuine change in how these people are viewing what actually counts as rape or you think this is just a ploy to give uh, women enormous leverage over men or or I think uh, it's what you just said. Um in fact, cuz I uh, it's not new, actually. I don't know if you guys saw it, but um, like we don't have time to delve into it in this show for sure. But uh, Buzz posted a a link to an article that is like thirty plus years old, okay? Where they're saying all the things like this is not. I mean, a lot of people are saying, "Well, these feminists are have just gotten out of hand lately." No, no. The, from the start, they were doing this shit, and and this article addresses it. Like it, it's it's amazing. They're saying exactly the sorts of things that people are saying now. Why do you? Hate, is a problem. Why do you hate feminists so much, Dale? Why do you even care? You're a gay man. This doesn't even affect you. That's not completely true that it doesn't affect me because there is this. Um, I mean, I am less affected by sh for sure. So why do you care? Um, I think because I care about yeah he men. Has a, he has a passion for justice that's almost as great for his passion for blowjobs. That's right, <laughs> almost as great as my passion for deep or deep Holy. oral. Wow. Uh, for deep throat oral. But no, seriously, I think it's because I care about men and because it is a hate movement against men. 
It's ridiculous. And men are half the population. It's ridiculously unjust. I mean, if you yeah. have any kind of sense of justice, you would be revolted by it. You know, I, 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 I was them. affected all I, my life. I was, I was as a little boy, uh, affected by the hate movement. What is, men. what is it's, unjust it's, about it's them like, being stupid? It's like the Salem witch trials, where you can be uh, convicted of spectral evidence. Is you know, she can say anything, and. Unless, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's circumstantial and you can't refute it. I don't, I don't know if it was on your site or not, but somebody posted a video. I think it was put up by feminists and it was their idea of what a sexual encounter should be like. And it was the guy. Oh, girl. yeah. The, and, without and the were, verbal consent for right, everything. Which, which it can was, I touch your side which, now? Or which <laughs> in that video, that's cool. Like, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with what happens in that video. But what's wrong is what's implied would happen if he accidentally did something that she didn't like just touched her knee or something. If she said, no, no, wait. No, what? Well, I wasn't okay and, with that, and he didn't do it fast enough. Like, yeah. oh, he didn't pull his yeah. hand away fast enough, yeah. or something, and and then they would they wouldn't just say, well, he should have asked. They would say he's a rapist now, and he should be punished as severely as possible. Yeah, it's it's scary, and and I feel like um, I from a very young age already, um, boys are they're they're trying to teach little boys that they're evil. Yeah. They're trying to tell them you need to start teaching your little boys not to rape, as if that's not something w that most men know, <laughs> right? It, 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 the implication is uh the implication is this collectivist thing about men that we are this severe we have this severe problem that we just rape rampantly when rape statistics are actually actual rate incidences of rape are, have dropped dramatically over the years we're getting we're becoming less rapey but why but, do you but, think but, that but is if you, this, but the but the story <laughs> yeah maybe the story <laughs> though know, right the it, narrative being produced is one about this just, just depicting men as these rampant rapists Right, the whole figure about twenty percent of women are raped in college. It's bullshit. That's yeah. a that's a sub, that and that and that is um. It's it's if you just explore how that evidence was gathered and what it's based on, it's obvious that it's bullshit. But it's still being said and perpetuated, and it's creating this notion that that men are just out there just raping away. You know, they don't give a shit. They don't know what's wrong. We're just it, we're idiots. We don't even fucking know that we're not supposed to rape people. It's a hate movement. It's it's based on bullshit and hate. This has been Flaming Freedom. You can catch us every Thursday live at flamingfreedom.com. Slash live. Been, been great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for us. joining us. We'll have you back. That's awesome.